You guys, I am so incredibly hyped today because I finally got my hands on the Morphe Times Coca-Cola collab collection and I have so much to get through. Now, in this video, there is going to be a giveaway. I'm giving away the palette, the brush set, the loose highlighter, and the lip set. So if you want to find out the details, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so before we continue, I do want to give you just a quick update on the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I did wear this in the last video, and then I said I was going to wear it for this video. However, when I wore it for a couple of hours, I did notice that my oils were just coming out. But it wasn't like extreme or anything like that, but I didn't want that look for this video. So I ended up taking it off and then going to sleep. And then the next day, recording, and here we are again today. And yes, my hair is in the same position because I'm not trying to deal with my hair at all but honestly this held up really well after wearing it for about five to six hours so i do still recommend this it does give a very nice natural glow if you haven't seen this video then i'll leave a link up above right here and you guys can check that out also quick side note you guys my eyes like so much better and i want to thank you all for giving me well wishes because that was just something else. I had to wait a while for it to just get better. So I'm really excited to finally be able to be diving into some colors and playing with makeup again like the way I used to. Alright guys, so we have this whole collection that we're going to dive into right now. This is going to be a review. Now the first impressions. As of right now, I know that the collection is sold out on Morphe's website. However, it is available on Ulta and also Self Ridges. Now here are the rules for the giveaway. Once again, this giveaway is for the palette, the lip set, the loose highlighter in Bubbly Babe, and the brush set. So rule number one, of course, is to be subscribed to my channel. Second thing is to just like this video. Third thing is to comment down below your favorite flavor of Coca-Cola. Now if you don't like Coca-Cola, then you can just tell me your favorite soda or favorite drink in general. I am going to offer bonus entry so you do have have a chance to get five extra bonus entries for the next five videos. Details on when this giveaway ends will be in my description box and this is open internationally. Whew, okay, so now we're going to dive into anything. If you want to see anything specifically, then I will put timestamps down below in my description box. I normally do, so you can go ahead and check that out. First one up is the lip set. This is called Lip in the Moment and it costs $19. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I am such a huge fanatic of glosses. And with that being said, I'm really picky when it comes to their formula. So this is how it looks in the packaging and when you turn it around it just gives a bunch of information on the back speaking of info each of these lip glosses carry 2.2 milliliters it has a 12 month shelf life and it is made in the USA here is how they look outside the packaging now I'll be honest you guys I was a little bit upset at how they cut off the coca cola like it's not like it's coca co you could tell it that the l was going to start to form so that's just honestly the only critique that i have out of this whole entire collection the formula of this you guys so good it is creamy it is soft it makes my lips feel luscious and the shine is really really pretty i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these on my hand first up is overflow here we go this is how the applicator looks just flat i'm gonna put it right here in my and there we go let's go sides Oof. it is so pretty let me get it up closer i don't know if you guys can see those little tiny little glitters next one is called share and it looks like this open her up too and give it a swatch same applicator each of them have the same applicator applicator bleh, applicator what's wrong with me <laughs> and that one has a subtle pink to it like a soft pink very very pretty on the lips as well next one is called classic babe this one you guys shocked me it is red it is so pigmented it's gorgeous on its own honestly this let me just show you look at this red Woo, honey not a joke it's so so stunning like look at that so pretty honestly it made my lips look <laughs> big luscious and i was like whoa 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 whoa! that is a lot and i love it honestly not to mention none of these feel sticky so the last one up is called taste master this is the one that i'm actually wearing right now it's very pretty so i was like yep i'm wearing it for this video here it is one two and there it goes right there the way it just shines off of the light so pretty 
Next is the highlighter. Now, I only picked up one that I thought would be suiting for me. Bubbly Babe would probably work for me too, but the other one, which I forgot the name of, was way too dark for my skin tone for a highlighter. I know I can use it for other things, but I really just wanted to purchase one for a highlighter. The highlighter itself is called Glowing Places. I just got it in a pop it. This is how the box looks. Up top it says which one I have, which is pop it. And then the back a bunch of information. This comes with 3.6 grams worth of product. It's a 12 month shelf life. It's made in the USA and it does contain mica. I am wearing this on this face and once again I'm going to show a demonstration right here of when I applied it. And while I do that I'll give you guys an up close look of the actual product. This is how it looks. Now when you first purchase it and you open it I will say be careful when you peel this sticker back because I was peeling it back slow. That highlight came popping right out and I was like <clears throat> Oh, okay, so don't be shocked if you see that. I just wanted to give you a warning. In terms of formula, you guys, it's really, really beautiful. It does glow beautifully on the face. I feel like this is perfect for like a summertime glow. This one in particular, pop it. It's just a nice, warm glow. Okay, now we have the brush set. Now, guys, at first I was like, ah, I don't want to really spend money on the brushes, but I love Morphe brushes. You guys know that I've mentioned them so many times on my channel, especially the M222 brush. It's one of my favorites. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it because I know I'm going to use it. It's not going to sit in my drawer for forever because you guys don't want to know how many brushes I have in my drawer. Anywho, it is a seven-piece brushette. It comes in this bag. This costs $29. Now, the bag itself is really, really nice. This is how the bag looks. It's a nice material. It's like a soft kind of plastic. And when you open it up, it has tissue paper inside. I'm going to throw up a picture right here, one that I put on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram and you want to, it is at Chrismo Beauty. But I put up a picture of how the brushes look right before loading this video. But these are the brushes. Now, I do not use this one today in this video. I'm not a huge fan of fan brushes unless it's for the cheek I like my profusion brush so I always use that for a highlighter but we'll use this in a future video so you guys can see how it works but this one was not used today however all of them all the rest of them I did use we have a couple of blending brushes from large to small so large medium small we have a detailed brush which I absolutely love I use that for my waterline, I use that for my brow bone highlight, the inner corner highlight, a detailed cut crease or like a graphic cut crease. Like you can use that for so many things. It's one of my favorites. It also included a flat brush. I use this for cutting the crease, patting down concealer, things like that. I even use this kind of brush to put shimmers on my lid as well. And lastly, we have this kind of chunky dome shaped brush. I like to use this kind of brush for my lower lash line because it's fits just ever so perfectly under there and it just applies the shadows very effortlessly and beautifully honestly all of them do so if you love morphe brushes i would highly recommend snagging these you'll see them perform in this video later on in the eye demonstration but if you don't need to watch that and you just want to hear my opinion on it get them now we are up to the palette you guys I absolutely loved it when I saw the color story. This is called the Thirst for Life Artistry Palette. This is how the box looks. And when you turn it over, it gives just a ton of information in the back. Now in the back, it does mention that it has pressed pigments as well as eyeshadows. The palette contains 19.5 grams worth of product. It has a 12 month shelf life. It contains Takamika and it is made in China. Not in the USA. I thought that was interesting because everything else was made in the USA, but this was made in China. Oh, and this cost $22, by the way, which I think is an excellent price. Now, here is the palette itself. It is sturdy. It's not a cheapy palette. Fairly thin, not too thick, and it's not too big either. You can slip this in a bag. And this is how it looks up close. And in the back, just a little bit of information. Inside the palette, it does have a slip cover that I honestly would suggest not throwing away because it has all of the names of every single shadow on it. When you open up the palette, it looks like this. It does come with a large mirror that folds all the way back. Oh my god, I almost dropped that. Here's the color story up close. Now, I know some people weren't going crazy over it, but I actually love the fact that you had a bunch of transitional shades up top, some deep shades down here, pressed glitter, some shimmers, and of course the infamous reds that you need if you're going to do a Coca-Cola palette. I do use both of those reds on my eyes today. There are six pressed pigments in this palette. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the pre-recorded swatches. First up, we have the eyeshadows. Now guys, I went in one time and they showed up beautifully and they feel buttery, 
and they feel smooth. Next up, we have the pre-recorded swatches for the pressed pigments. All of them are one-time swatches, except for the glitters, which are two times because I don't expect to have a crazy good clean swatch. So I gave two swatches just so you guys can see it fuller. The formula in this palette is amazing. And I honestly, honestly feel like this is my favorite Morphe palette. Ever. And that includes any collab they've made that I own. I honestly feel like this is the best formula I've seen yet. And the reason why I say that is because it's consistent throughout the entire palette. All the shadows fell smooth. All of them were pigmented. All of them blended so well. I was waiting for something, honestly, something to just not work as well as the rest. But I got nothing, guys. This palette is the bomb.com. All right, guys. So, of course, I'm going to take some live swatch with you guys right now. We're going to take, of course, the reds. Like, come on. I can't just not show you guys the reds, even though I use them on my eyes. <laughs> and uh, let's say Can Do. This is a really pretty shimmer. I'm not doing peaky swatches anymore. I hate them so much. Here you go. This is one. Look how gorgeous. I, I cannot. I cannot. Guys, look at this. Look, like, I'm just smoothing it out, not going in again to the palette, but look. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I can't tell me nothing about these swatches because they're gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, Morphe, you did that. Let me show you guys this one because it's, I know, a really light, light shade, but it still shows up really pretty. Let's take Energetic. And let's take a press glitter. I think this one is called Happiness. Yes, Happiness. Okay. Here we go. Here's one, Ooh. two. Look how pretty. Oh, God. And happiness. I'm just gonna drag it out because it is a pressed glitter. Look at that. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, you guys. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So as usual, I start off the eye look by putting down some Kylie Cosmetics concealer in the shade Maple. And this time, you guys, I'm actually using the flat brush that I talked about earlier that I like to use for concealer. And I go ahead and I spread that out across my lid and I pat it down as well. First shadow that I'm going to be dipping into is called Recognize. And I'm going to use the Large Fluff Blending Brush for that. I put that on just to set the concealer in. You really can't see it that much because it's literally almost the same color as the concealer. Using the same brush, I dip it to the real thing. I wanted to use just a little bit of a darker color as my base so that's why I put that one on top now switching over to like the standard kind of blending brush I'm gonna dip into refreshing I start on my outer V and I drag it all across my crease and towards the inner corner of my eye next with the even smaller blending brush I dip into all the feels and I place that slightly on top and above refreshing I'm basically doing the same old thing I normally do guys I'm just going from dark to light using the same brush I go into recognize and I just put that above all the feels because I didn't want a harsh line so I just soften it up so that that line disappears next I cut my crease and again I go in with that same brush that I used earlier this is the first time I'm actually doing a cut crease where I'm making a round and next I take the smaller chunky kind of domed brush and I dip into good in red. This is the darker red out of the two and I put it on the outer part of the cut crease. I am so, so happy to see how vibrant and stunning the reds are in this palette. And with that being said, you guys already know, I dipped it to Always Bright. And that one, once again, just didn't disappoint. I'm really happy to see how great the formula of Morphe palettes are becoming. And I hope they stay on this path the same brush I'm gonna move down to my lower lash line and this time I'm going to dip it to can do so as you guys just saw I just sweep it back and forth under my lower lash line next I'm gonna use the very tiny detailed brush to put in some highlighter in the inner corner of my eye so I go into cool story using the same brush I dip into fizz fizz honestly doesn't really go with this eye look it's more on like a green gold side honestly I just want to see how it looked I hope you guys can see in the video the hint of green in it is absolutely beautiful and if you like green and highlighter just like a subtle green then you're gonna fall in love with that shadow and that's it for the palette you guys today i'm wearing this sweet heart lashes by sugary cosmetics and of course i'm using the glam like clicker for liner as well as the tarte big eagle mascara that's it you guys this is the look that i created today let me know your thoughts on it down below let me know down below if you're gonna pick up anything from this collection once again remember if you want to enter my giveaway all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel like this video comment down below your favorite coca-cola flavor or your favorite soda or your favorite beverage and of course there will be bonus entries for the next 
five videos. Well, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it when you guys take the time out of your busy day to just come on here and chit chat about makeup with me. You guys have no idea how much that means to me. I have some stuff guys coming your way from some new indie brands, black owned ones. I know you guys have been requesting that so keep your eyes peeled. Make sure your notification bell is on and all that stuff. All right, I'm done talking. <laughs> Bye guys. We'll